Sunday church, can we all just smile while we're standing up? Today, we're gonna let our worship speak life. Amen. We give God praise. Let's give it our old church. Sing this with me. Just one word, you call the soul that surrounds me. You believe it. Just one word, the darkness has to retreat. Just one touch, I feel the presence of heaven. Yes, we do. Just one touch. It's not a mountain that he can move. Oh, praise the name that makes a way. There's nothing that a God can do. In just one word, just one word, yeah. you heal what's broken inside. Just one word. Just one touch, I feel the power of heaven, yeah. Just one touch, my eyes were open to see, my heart can't help but believe. He said, there's nothing that a God can do, hey. There's not a mountain that He can move. Oh, praise the name. There's no power like the power of Jesus. Let faith arise, let all agree. There's no power like the power of Jesus. I will believe, come on church, for greater things. There's no power like the power of Jesus. Let faith arise, let all agree. There's no power like the power. Come on, sing it out. Oh, I will believe for greater things. There's no power like the power of Jesus. Let me arise. Let all agree. There's no power like the power. There's nothing that a God can do. Come on. There's not a mountain. Against your mind, oh, we 
We choose to give your name praise, Lord God. Over everything, Lord, we choose you. May our worship be acceptable in you, Lord God. May your heart accept our hearts, Lord. We lift your name. We lift your name, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. 
Pwede ho bang anyayahan ang bawat isa na tumayo kasama ko at itaas natin ang pinakamataas ang ating mga kamay at sana hindi po mawala sa ating mga puso't spirito ang pagsamba na merong pagkamangha sa kabutihan at katapatan ng Diyos sa ating mga buhay. Come on! Lift your hands up high. Hallelujah! Oh yes, Lord! Oh yes, Lord! Purihin ka, O oh Diyos! Sambahin ka! Maitaas ang iyong pangalan dahil ikaw ay kamangha-mangha sa lahat ng iyong ginawa. Habang buhay ka namin pupurihin at sasambahin, tunay kang kamangha-mangha sa aming mga buhay. Sa araw kong ito, hindi kami dapat matuon sa mga balibalita. Dapat kami matuon sa magandang balita ng kaligtasan na tanging masusumpungan kay Yesu Kristo lamang. Hallelujah! Kaya o Diyos, nawa, maitulutan mo ng aming mga spirit at mga puso ay makaranas ng pagkamangha sa iyong presensya, sa iyong kalwalhatian. Salamat po o Diyos. Hallelujah! Lord, open our eyes to see and experience your glory, Lord. Your glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Fill us, Lord, with your glory, Lord. Fill us with your presence, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and fill us, Lord, with your power and your anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that we worship a Savior that is alive. Hallelujah. He is the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. That is why we speak life with authority, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, I pray that you anoint our hearts, anoint our ears, anoint our ears, Lord, that we may hear your voice today. We thank you and we honor you. This we ask in Jesus Christ's name we pray and all God's people say Amen and Amen and Amen. Come on, let's give God praise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Everybody shout Hallelujah! Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I hope filled Sunday, church. How are you today, church? How are you? Can you please ask your neighbor, how are you today? Hallelujah, praise God. I speak life to you. I speak life to your family. I speak life to your body, soul, and spirit. I speak life to your situation. I speak life to your needs. I speak faith, hope, and love to you. And everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Before you sit down, could you please high-five your neighbor. Sabi mo lang sa kanya, I speak life to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We can be seated in His presence today. Whew, hallelujah. Are you ready for the Word? Today, church, hallelujah. Are you ready for the Word? All right. Uh, let me remind you of the messages that we have heard for the last Sundays of just being empowered and being blessed with the Word of God. These messages are both personal and prophetic. Everybody say personal and prophetic. So let me just review you a little bit. No? Yung mga messages na narinig ho natin, na alam ko, very uh, timeless ito, very now words sa atin. Everybody said, Amen? Hallelujah. Yung narinig natin before, don't lose heart. Tell your neighbor right now, don't lose heart. Hallelujah. You are not alone. Don't ever limit God. Stay faithful. Tell your neighbor, stay faithful. Hallelujah. Let's pass the test. Speak life. Everybody say, speak life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today, I want to speak to you on the message entitled, Be Ready. Everybody say, Be Ready. Today, I will be teaching most of the time. Could you please 
Tell your neighbor right now, it's teaching time. Come on, everybody say, it's teaching time. Hallelujah. Because today, I want to address questions. Everybody say questions. Hallelujah. I want to address questions that are at the back of the minds of a lot of people, especially Christians, especially believers. Questions, questions, questions. These are not new questions. In fact, people of every generation have asked these prophetic questions before. The disciples first asked these questions. Are you ready for these questions today? Okay, pakisabi uli sa katabi mo. It's teaching time. Hallelujah. What are these questions? Which, as your pastor, I need to address this for all of us as a church today. Questions like, are we in the last days? Are you with me right now? Is Jesus coming back soon? If he is coming back soon, when? Is there a date? Is there a day? We'll be addressing that today. Hallelujah. What are the signs of his coming? I just want to establish right now that the Bible is a prophetic book. Did you hear me? The Bible is a prophetic book. Did you know that the, in the Old Testament, there are about 1,845 references to the second coming of Jesus Christ? 1,845. In the Old Testament alone, in the New Testament, there are 318 references to the second coming. 260 chapters in the New Testament talks about the second coming of Jesus Christ. 23 out of the 27 books in the New Testament refers to this great event, His second coming. Every prophecy on His first coming, there are eight on His second coming. In other words, one is to eight. Every one prophecy on His first coming, merong walong prophecy on His second coming. That is why this is a very important subject which we need to address today as a church. And everybody said, Amen. Tell your neighbor again, it's teaching time. Hallelujah. Now, when he comes back, by the way, how many are waiting for his coming? Hallelujah. When he comes back, he will come personally, literally, and visibly. There are scriptures that you can Really take note and you can read, by the way. No? When he comes back, he will come personally. Oh, hallelujah. Literally and visible. Every eye will see him. He will come in glory. He will come in power. Everybody say power. Hallelujah. He will come with his angels. He will come quickly and he will come unexpectedly. Acts chapter 1 Verses 6 and 7. Let's read that. It says here, So when the apostles were with Jesus, look at this, they kept asking Him. Yung mga disciples, makukulit, no? Tanong lang sila ng tanong. Jesus, Lord, has the time come for you to free Israel and restore our kingdom? Apparently, itong mga tanong ng mga disciples, it is a political question. So are you coming, you know, to establish a political kingdom? You know, they, they don't know it, that in the the, the kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. He replied, Ito na yung sagot doon sa, may, meron bang date at saka day yung kanyang pagdating. Sabi niyan, categorical po ito. Kayo pa lang dapat po nating maintindihan ito. He replied, The Father alone has the authority to set those dates and times and they are not for you to know. Can I hear an amen? So, kapag meron kayong mga narinig na uh, yung pagdating ni Jesus is in so and so date, September something or whatever. You know, don't believe that. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Kasi nandiyan dyan siya, Matthew 24, 36. Sabi pa dyan, however, no one knows the day or hour. Alright? Is that clear? When these things will happen, not even the angels in heaven or the Son himself, only the Father knows. So that settles the first question. Is there a date? Is there a day? There is no day and date. Only the Father knows. 
And everybody said, Amen to that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Matthew 24, 3 to 6. Ito na naman po yung mga disciples. Later, when they arrived at the Mount of Olives, let me just give that an emphasis. When they arrived at the Mount of Olives, to tell you honestly, Jesus said, He ascended from the Mount of Olives and He will come back in the Mount of Olives. And there's going to be a great earthquake. That is why many years ago, there was a big hotel who tried to build a hotel in Mount of Olives. And they, they, they realized na merong uh, earthquake crack doon sa lugar na yon. Na ibig sabihin, nagahanda ang Mount of Olives anytime. By the way, when I was in Israel, we stood in the Mount of Olives. Kasama ko si Pastor Jerry, tama ba? No? His disciples came privately to where he was sitting and said, Tell us, when will these things happen? Next line, hallelujah. And what supernatural sign should we expect to signal your coming and the completion of this age? Jesus answered, Kasi makulit yung mga disciple. Ito sabi ni Jesus, pakinggan nyo to. This is what Jesus said. At that time, deception will run rampant so beware that you are not fooled. Next line. For many will appear on the scene claiming my authority or saying about themselves, I am God's anointed and they will lead many astray. Verse 6. Ito yung gusto kong bigyan natin ng pansin. You will hear of wars, wars nearby, and revolutions on every side. Is it happening right now? With more rumors of wars to come. Pero ano sabi ni Jesus? Come on, come on, read that. Come on, ano sabi ni Jesus? Come on, everybody read that. Don't what? Come on. Don't panic or give in to your fears. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. For the breaking apart of the world's systems is destined to happen. But look at this. Ano sabi ni Jesus? It won't yet be the end. It will still be the unfolding. It is just the beginning. Are you with me right now? What is Jesus saying here? Ano sinasabi sa atin dito ni Jesus? Don't panic. Tell your neighbor right now, don't panic. Hallelujah. In other words, what Jesus is saying here, don't be obsessed with the signs that you miss the whole point. Let me repeat myself. Don't be obsessed with the signs. Uh, ito na ba yung mga signs? Yung, may, mga, may mga kristyano na ganun. Ito na ba talaga? You know? Don't be obsessed with it. That is what Jesus is saying here. Don't be obsessed with the signs that you miss the whole point. Ito po yan. What is the purpose of signs? What is the purpose of signs? To lead us to the destination. Are you with me? Parang, amen? To lead us to Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Everybody said, Amen. Ang sinasabi ni Jesus, don't miss the whole point. You know, these are just signs that leads to me. Focus on me. Uh, Hebrews, you know, sa Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2, ano sabi sa atin? Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Faith. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Kama palapakan mo muna si Lord Jan. Hallelujah. Yun ang dapat. No? Philippians 1.6. Ano sabi sa atin dito? And I am certain that God who began the good work within you will continue His work until it is finally finished on the day when Jesus Christ returns. Everybody said Amen. Sino po naniniwala doon naman? Ang tindi pa ng ginagawa ni Lord sa buhay mo. Come on, may ginagawa siya. May inumpisaan siyang maganda at tatapusin niya. Hallelujah. Come on, rejoice with that. Hallelujah. Amen? These signs, listen to me, these signs are given not to scare us, but to prepare us. Are you with me right now? To prepare us. To make us ready. Tell your neighbor right now, be ready. Hallelujah. To encourage us. To comfort us. 
of our blessed hope. Remember, just like going to a particular destination, along the way, you will see signposts. Tama po ba ako? You know, just like going to a particular destination. Si Pastor Jaja, nandito, mahilig mag-road trip yan. Parang si Pastor Ru, di ba? No, road trip. No, talagang, uh, just like going to a particular destination, you know, are you with me right now? Along the way, you will see signposts that points to your destination. And these signs are all pointed to one person. And his name is Jesus Christ. And we say, Amen. Our message is be ready. Focus on Jesus. That's how you do it. Amen? Focus on Jesus. See the signs, but focus on Jesus. That's how you do it. You see the signs, and you focus on your destination. You focus on Jesus. That's how we do it. Everybody said, Amen. Alam nyo, isang writer, si Vance Havner said these words, and I want to quote him, sabi niya dito. I like what he wrote, sabi niya. We are not just looking for something to happen. We are looking for someone to come. I love those words. Balikan natin, balikan natin. Sabi niya, we are not just looking for something to happen. We are looking for someone to come. Hallelujah. He said further, and when these things begin to come to pass, we are not to drop our heads in discouragement or shake our heads in despair, but rather lift our heads in delight. In other words, be ready, be prepared, be excited. And everybody said, Amen and Amen to that. Anong sabi ng 1 Thessalonians 4, 15 and 18? Look at this, come on. I, I hope you will be encouraged with this. Sabi, sabi ni Paul, we tell you this directly from the Lord. We who are still living when the Lord returns will meet Him ahead of those who have died. Next line. For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout. Hallelujah. Ooh. With the voice of the archangel and with the trump call of God. First, the believers who have died will rise from their graves. Can I hear an amen? Let me just encourage some of you here, you know, uh, for those of you who have lost your loved ones, rejoice. Be encouraged. Because when Jesus comes, they will be the ones who will rise first. Can I hear an amen? Parang yung message natin nung Sunday, di ba? Yung, uh, as far, when you are a believer, death is not the end of everything. It is just sleeping because one of these days, Jesus will wake up. And everybody said, amen. Will awaken those who are dead in Christ. Everybody said, amen to that. That is our blessed hope. Hallelujah. Sabi pa dyan, eto naman. Then together with them, tayo naman who are alive, we who are still alive, lahat po ng buhay pa, magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Ha, lahat, pa ng, lahat po ng mga humihinga pa, magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sabi dyan, then together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever. So, look at this. Encourage each other with this words. Everybody said, Amen. Come on, palapakan mo muna si Lord John. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, I want to address some of the major signs that point to the second coming of Jesus Christ. I'm going to talk about the two major signs today and hopefully next week, we'll be talking, we'll be talking about it more and more. So I'm going to be addressing the two major signs that points to the second coming of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to listen, church? Number one, major sign. Let me just read from the scripture here. Matthew 24, verses 7 to 9. Sabi dito. 
nations will go to war against its other and kingdom against kingdom and there will be terrible earthquakes. Hello? Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Hallelujah. Sama na po yung mga seismic events of epic proportion. Nandito po si Pastor Angel, pastor natin sa Tagaytay. Pagpasok po ng January, pumutok ang Taal Volcano. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. No? Uh, there will be terrible earthquakes, seismic events of epic proportion. What's the next line? Horrible epidemics. Woo, hallelujah. Talagang feeling natin nagbabasa tayo ng current events ngayon. Hallelujah. Horrible epidemics and famines in place after place. Next line. You can expect to be persecuted. There are places today in many countries of the world that believers are being persecuted. Even killed. For you will be hated by all the nations because of your love for me. How many of you love Jesus? Here? Come on. Do you love Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. Next line. Hallelujah. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, you know, it's happening, I tell you, it's happening all around. The love of many will grow cold. Ooh, I hope if hindi ito yung panahon na dapat kang manlamig. Can I hear an amen? Dapat maging mainit ka kay Lord sa mga panahong ito. Can I hear an amen? No? Pero sabi dyan, but he who, who endures to the end shall be saved. This is where I want to focus right now. Look at this. And, this is the major sign right now. This gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then what? Come on, read the, la the last line. And then what? And then the end will come. What is one of the biggest sign that Jesus is coming very, very soon. Hindi po yung mga natural calamities, hindi po yung mga epidemics. This is the biggest sign that Jesus is coming soon. The preaching of the gospel to every nation. Everybody said, Amen. What does this verse tell us? This passage is reminding us that everything here on earth is temporary. The passages that we have just read, no, is telling us, lahat dito, hindi, wala hong permanent sa mundong ito. Can I hear an amen? Nandiyan pa po ba kayo? Hallelujah. Amen. Everything is temporary. Kaya lang po, you know, kung minsan, ilan po sa atin, akala po natin, uh, yung mga, well, yung mga plano natin, you know, kung na, na, Marami sa inyo, hindi, hindi ito nangyari. You know, may mga ganda ka mga plano, pero bakit ganito? Kasi it is God reminding us again that everything on this earth is not permanent. It is all temporary. Can I hear a name? Patakapakan mo muna si Lord yan. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Everything is just a dress, rehears dress rehearsals of things to come. The sufferings, the sickness, the pain, the sorrow will all come to an end. And that's good news. Can I hear an amen to that? Hallelujah. When He comes, He will make all things new. A new heaven and a new earth. This corrupt you know, earth will become new. Yan ang sabi sa Bible. God will create a new heaven and a new earth. And everybody said amen to that. He will establish his, thro his throne of righteousness and peace. I think by this time, dapat po natin siguro na-realize na po natin that this is a broken world. We cannot fix this broken, corrupt system. Only the power of the gospel can change people's hearts. 
The problem is not the system. The problem is the heart. Change begins in the heart. Can I hear an amen? What is the message of the gospel? Jesus Christ came. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. And he is coming back. This, my friends, is the full gospel. He came. He died. He rose from the dead. But wait. He is coming back. This is our blessed hope. And all God's people say amen to that. Come on, palapakan mo muna si Lord Jan. Hallelujah. Natural calamities, wars, pestilence, famines. Believe it or not. Makinig kayo sa akin. Lahat ng ito. This has been happening throughout the years and even centuries. Lahat yan. Nakaranas na nga, nakaranas na nga ang mundo ng First World War, Second World War, many wars, famines of epic proportion, proportions have been happening. Ang tanong, ito. What is different today is this. Kasi nangyayari naman yan many, many years ago. No? Bawat generation nangyayari yan. Pero ano yung pagkakaiba ngayon? What is, what is different today is what I call the intensity and frequency of the signs. Did you hear that? The intensity and frequency of these signs. In other words, what I'm trying to say to us today, mas malalakas, mas malala, mas madalas, at sunod-sunod ang mga pangyayari. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? In fact, Inihan tulad dyan ni Jesus in Matthew 24 verse 8. Sabi dyan, But all this is only the first of the birth pains with more to come. Kayo po ba yun pa? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you with me right now? Sabi dyan, But all this is, the, is only the first of the birth pains with more to to come. Intensity and frequency may kinalaman yan sa isang babaeng nanganganak. Pag malapit ng lumabas yung baby, mas intense yung sakit, mas frequent yung intervals. Tama ba ako ng, ng birth pains? Hallelujah. Now, these signs can prepare people's heart to listen and hear the gospel. Ang mga signs na nakikita natin, yung mga, you know, all this that is happening, this pandemic, these earthquakes, you know, the rumors of war that is happening in our days, these signs can prepare people's heart to listen and hear the gospel. It makes them more receptive to hear the good news when all they hear is bad news everywhere. Can I hear an amen to that? See, kaya gospel, kaya good news. Kasi all around, everywhere, puro bad news. Are you with me right now? Sino po, na, sino po nakakasunod so far? Amen? It makes them more receptive to hear the good news when all they hear is bad news everywhere. Yan ang sabi ng Matthew 24, 14. Let's read that verse again. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. Thank you. One of the biggest signs, listen, of the second coming of Jesus is the great opportunity for the church to go back to her calling to preach the gospel and make disciples. Church, are you listening? It's called the Great Commission. We partner with Jesus with the mission to win the lost and bring them back to Jesus. Because of this pandemic, the physical building of the church was closed. And up to now, we are not yet gathering together. 
the physical building may be closed, but another door was open. Can I hear an amen? The internet highway. People who don't typically want to come to the physical building can now listen to the word, hear the gospel sa ating church online without borders, without limit, without barriers. Can I hear an amen? Pwede ba nating palakpakan si Lord John? Hallelujah. Never in the history of the world where people are given the great opportunity to hear the gospel and they don't need to come inside a physical building of the church. They just need to click the internet, go on social media, and then they hear the church on fire for God, preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can I hear an amen? Right here, right now, in our generation, everybody is given the opportunity to hear the gospel in many nations. And everybody said amen. More than ever, people all over the world are hearing the gospel. Ninyo pa napansin sa ating pong prayer works? Isa po sa ating prayer points is we pray for the nations. Are you with me right now? Very, you know why we're doing that right now? We are doing, we are praying for the nations prophetically. Are you with me, church? Are you, are you with me, church? We are praying for the nations prophetically. Kasi ito pong sabi sa Revelation 7 verses 9 and 10. Kaya nga, every time we pray for the nations for the gospel to spread in that nation, for revival to hit that nation, for believers to, you know, uh, to just share the gospel. Ito po yan, sabi kasi sa Revelation 7, 9, and 10. After these things, I looked, and behold, a great multitude, which no one could number, of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Lamb. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all the world, for every nation to hear the gospel, and then the end will come. And everybody said, Amen. Parang walang nag-amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's happening right now. Tell your neighbor right now. It's happening. Hallelujah. God is giving everyone the opportunity to hear the gospel, the good news. And for some of you are listening right now. You are hearing the gospel. You are hearing the good news. Will you receive it today? Will you open your heart and receive the good news to hear the gospel? By the way, kaya good news yan kasi may bad news. Can I hear an amen? Ano po yung bad news? The bad news is, we are all sinners. Broken. We're all broken. We all fall short of the glory of God. We deserve God's wrath. The Bible says, in Romans 3.10, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Can we, can we hear a loud amen to that? But God sent His Son. This is the good news now. But God sent His Son, Jesus. He came to save us, to redeem us. He laid down His life. He died on the cross for our sins. And He paid the price for our salvation. My friends, that's good news. Jesus Christ came. He laid His life for you. He died for you. He and he rose from the dead. He conquered sin and death and defeated the power of Satan. And because he lives, you can live as well. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. He is the resurrection and the life. And by the way, this same Jesus who rose from the dead, who ascended to heaven, he will come back. Not as a lamb, but as a lion. A roaring lion. And everybody said, amen. Hallelujah. He will come. As a king, to reestablish his kingdom, to finish what he started. That is why we always look forward to the future filled with hope. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit tayo po na mga believers laging nakatingin sa future because it is a future filled with hope. 
Why? Because He is coming back. And everybody said, Amen. Pwede ba natin palapakan si Lord John? Amen? Amen? So, one of the biggest signs that Jesus is coming soon, this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world. And every nation will hear it. And then the end will come. Number two, big sign. Are you listening? A victorious church. That is one of the biggest signs of the second coming of Jesus Christ. Pakinggan nyo ako, church. Jesus, si Jesus hindi po babalik sa isang church na mahina, sa isang church na lulugulugo. Alam mo, kapampangan po yata, you know, sa isang church na naglulupaypay. Jesus will come to a revived, awakened, victorious church. And everybody said, Amen. Yan ang church na babalikan ni Jesus. Amen. Hindi siya, hindi, hindi darating si Jesus you know, sa isang church na may victim mentality, kundi sa isang church na mayroong victorious mindset. And everybody said, Amen to that. Come on, palapakan mo muna si Lord John. Amen. 1 Corinthians 15, 57 and 58. Let me remind you, but we thank God for giving us the victory as conquerors through our Lord Jesus, the Anointed One. So now, beloved ones, stand firm, stable, and during, live your lives with unshakable confidence. For we know that we prosper and excel in every season by serving the Lord because we are assured that our union with the Lord makes our labor productive with fruit that endures. Can I hear a loud amen to that? Hallelujah. Now listen to me, church. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to you, church, right now. I believe that adversity makes the church stronger. Did you hear me? Adversity makes the church stronger. When I say that, kuminsan nga, prosperity can even make the church weaker. Eh. Kasi madaling makalimot. That's why adversity makes the church stronger. When you are going through some tough times, God is making you stronger. Did you hear me? I think that's a prophetic word and a personal word for you right now. When you are going through tough times right now, God is making you stronger. Can I hear a loud amen to that? I can sense that. Hallelujah. Alam niyo po, ito yan. Bakit ko nasabi yan? Ito, ito talagang, uh, I think the Holy Spirit has led me to this understanding and insight. No? Did you know? That the book of Revelation is a prophetic book. We all know that. The book of Revelation is a prophetic book. It speaks about what will happen in the last days. No? Kaya nga, yung marami na hindi, ma, hindi masyado binabasa yung, yung, yung book of Revelation kasi talagang, you know, talagang matugo yung nakalagay dyan. No? It speaks about the last days. Pero hindi nyo po ba napansin that the first three chapters of the book of Revelation focuses on the church. The first three chapters focuses on the church. God is speaking to His church through the Holy Spirit. Now, ito yan. Ito yung nadiskubri ko. The statement to everyone who is victorious. No, There's a statement. So, Revelation so 2, especially Revelation 2 and 3, speaking to the seven churches. The statement that says to everyone who is victorious, was repeated seven times to the seven churches. Look at your Bible. Look at the book of Revelation. Nakalagay lagi yan. Inuulit, seven churches, uh, especially in the New Living Translation, he who is victorious was repeated seven times to the seven churches. Who are the seven churches? The, to the church that lost her first love. Sabi na Holy Spirit, he who is victorious, it's time to overcome. Can I hear an amen? Yung mga churches that have lost their first love to the suffering church, he who is victorious, who I will, who rabba shakata, to the persecuted church, he who is victorious, hallelujah, to the sleeping church, wake up. Can I hear an amen? Natutulog ba yung katabi mo? Paki, pakislap mo naman sa balikat, sabi mo sa kanya, wake up, hallelujah, rabba shakata, rabba, Amen. I say one of the seven churches there is sleeping, hallelujah, to the church who is being tested. He who overcomes, he who is victorious, no? to the faithful church. Hallelujah. 
Ito pa, to the cold, lukewarm, worldly church. It's time to wake up. It's time to be holy. It's time to repent and come back to God. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. Sinasabi ulit-ulit-ulit yan. He who is victorious repeated seven times. We all know that the number seven is a perfect number. Seven times. The Holy Spirit said, He who is victorious. What is this telling us before these things are happening right now? Jesus is saying, I am gonna make my church victorious. And everybody said, Amen! Can you imagine? Tarating si Jesus, tapos hinanghina ka, tapos survival mode ka, tapos talagang, you know, discouraged ka, nalulupay-pay ka. No! He will come to a victorious church. Tell your neighbor right now, it's time to overcome. Hallelujah. It's time to be victorious. Everybody said, Amen! Sabi nga, listen to what the Spirit is saying. You know, repent. Go back to God. Overcome. Be victorious. And Jesus saying, For I am coming soon. No wonder our prophetic word this year, Victorious 2020, is something very prophetic, I tell you. I believe before Jesus comes back, He will revive His church. He will awaken His church. He will empower His church. He will pour out a victorious spirit to His church. And everybody said, Amen. Sino po naniniwala dito? That there is going to be a great awakening. A great revival that is about to hit the church big time. Can I hear an amen? Sino po naniniwala doon? Hallelujah. So ito pong, ito pong mga, mga nangyayari sa ating ngayon, ito po, ito po yung preparation ni Lord para i-revive, gisingin ang church. Hallelujah. Oh, bumalik yung apoy niya. Bumalik yung first love niya kay Jesus Christ. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. What is happening right now is uh, throughout this season, God is making us stronger than ever. First John 5, 4 and 5. Memory verse po natin ito this year. You see, everybody say, you see, every child of God overcomes the world for our faith is the victorious power that triumphs over the world. Verse 5. So who are the world conquerors defeating its power? Those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Prepare the way of the Lord. And everybody said, Amen. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise for that church? Amen. Two biggest sign. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached. In the whole world, and then the end will come. A church who is victorious, overcoming, revived, awakened, and everybody said, Amen. This is happening right now. Prepare the way of the Lord. Now, when a woman is about to give birth, did you know? By the way, hindi po ako. Hindi ko po alam yung feeling na yan. Hallelujah. Uh, lahat po ng mga lalaki dito magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hindi po tayo ang nanganganak. Hallelujah. No? Uh, sila lang nakaka-relate dyan. Okay. When a woman is about to give birth, did you know that there is the painful side and there is also the joyful side? Well, let me repeat that, no? When a woman is about to give birth, there is the painful side. And eventually, there is the joyful side. When you finally see your baby, women, are you listening? And you see his face, you will forget all your pain. Lahat po ng mga nanganak na dito magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Ayan, meron tayo dito. Hallelujah. Amen. Nakaka-relate ka dyan, di ba? Yung... Sakit, sakit. Pero nung lumabas yung baby at nakita mo yung mukha, nakalimutan mo lahat ng pain. All you are focused about 
is on your baby. Can I hear, can I hear a loud, loud amen? Now listen. When you finally see Jesus coming and you see his face, you will forget all your pain. And everybody said, amen and amen and amen to that. That is the power of the gospel. He came, he died, he rose again, and he is coming back. Hallelujah. And when he comes back, you will forget all your pain. In fact, sabi sa Revelation chapter 21, he will wipe away all tears from their eyes. Let me just read that here. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sabi dyan, I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Verse 4. Before I read this verse, sino po rito yung mga may pinagdadaan ng matindi? Come on, hallelujah. Sino po rito yung mga, you know, maybe for some of you, you've lost a loved one, you know, but rejoice, you know. Life doesn't end here. Jesus offers eternal life. And everybody said amen to that. There is an everlasting eternal life. Sabi dyan, He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. Can I hear an amen to that? Come on, hallelujah. Come on, give God praise to that. And the one sitting on the throne said, look, I am making everything new. And then he said to me, write this down for I, what I tell you is trustworthy and true. Hallelujah. Oh, and he also said, it is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I will give freely from the springs of the water of life. Hallelujah. All, verse 7, ito na po yan. All, come on, come on, read this now. All who are victorious, everybody say, I am victorious, will inherit all these blessings and I will be their God and they will be my children. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise for that church? Come on, church. Hallelujah. Amen. Be ready. Be prepared. Be excited. Live every day of your life with the consciousness that He is coming any time. The full gospel is He came, He died, He rose again. And he is coming back. You know what? The Holy Spirit is telling you and me right now. He's telling us right now na dapat hindi mawala sa consciousness natin that we live every single day of our lives with the faith and the hope and the understanding that he can come anytime unexpectedly. The thing is, are you ready? Could you please tell your neighbor right now, be ready. Hallelujah. Come on, be ready. Hallelujah. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And I would like to end up with this promise in 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 to 11. Hallelujah. And it says here, and maybe you can stand with me right now, right, right where you are, you know, para naman to shake off, you know, yung, yung mga baka may nakatulog na dyan. Hallelujah. Wake up. Hallelujah. He's coming soon. Hallelujah. Sabi dyan, now concerning how and when all this will happen, dear brothers and sisters, we don't really need to write you. Hallelujah. Next line. Sabi niya, for you know quite well that the day of the Lord's return will come unexpectedly. Hallelujah. Like a thief in the night. Ooh, hallelujah. When people are saying everything is peaceful and secure, then disaster will fall on them as suddenly as a pregnant woman's labor pains. Look at that. As a pregnant woman's labor pains begin and there will be no escape. But you aren't in the dark. Tell your neighbor right now, you are not in the dark, hallelujah, about these things. Dear brothers and sisters, and you won't be surprised when the day of the Lord comes like a thief. 
For you are all children of the light and of the day. We don't belong to darkness and night. So be on your guard, not asleep like the others. Stay alert and be clear-headed. Can I hear an amen to that? Hallelujah. Night is a time when people sleep and drinkers get drunk. But let us who live in the light be clear-headed, protected by the armor of faith and love, and wearing as our helmet the confidence of our salvation. Hallelujah. For God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For God chose to save us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are saved, say amen. Hallelujah. Come on. God chose us to save us through our Lord Jesus. Now to pour out His anger, not to pour out His anger on us. Christ died for us so that whether we are dead or alive, when He returns, we can live with Him forever and ever. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Oh, so? So? What do we need to do? Encourage its other and build its other up just as you are already doing. What do we do? Preach the gospel. Be victorious. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. That's what we do. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to challenge all of us. Hallelujah. Share the link. Preach the gospel. Share the good news. You know, let hope rise. Can I hear an amen? Share your hope story of the power of what Jesus Christ can do with the person who will put his trust on him alone. Can I hear an amen? Hey, Jesus Christ still saves, he heals, he redeems, he performs miracles in our days. Amen. Preach the gospel, be victorious. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise for that? Come on, church, hallelujah. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Are you ready, church? Woo, hallelujah, Rabbi. Would you just lift your hands with me right now? I just want to pray for you right now. Father, we just want to thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for a time of equipping. Thank you for the time of teaching. Thank you, Lord, for a time, Father God, where of insight, where we understand the truths of the faith that we have embraced and believe. Hallelujah. That the gospel, Lord God, that the gospel of Jesus Christ means He came, He died, He rose again, and He is coming back for us. And we are getting ready, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we look forward to the future filled with hope, filled with faith. Hallelujah. Rabba Shaka Taraba. Lord, right now I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, empower your church, oh God. Give them the boldness, oh God. Hallelujah. And you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. Lord, right now, Father God, Lord God, this church online, Lord God, is being heard, Lord God. Lord God, by many nations, Father God, right now, Lord God, we bless every nation, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. Lord God, may the gospel of Jesus Christ be heard in every nation in Jesus' name. Use every believer, Father God, to share their faith. Hallelujah. And I pray, Father God, that this be, Father God, a season of revival, a season of awakening. Revive us. Renew us, Father God. Empower us, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we rebuke, oh God. Lord God, the spirit of defeat, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the spirit of discouragement in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the spirit of depression in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Right now, I speak revival. I speak awakening, Lord God, to your people in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Church, how many are ready to, to sing a victorious song? Come on, are you ready to sing a victorious song today? Come on, would you just lift your hands with me right now? And let's sing a victorious song. A victorious prophetic song. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands up high. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody now. Oh, Lord, my God. Hallelujah. When I need awesome wonder. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Yes. Sing it with a smile on your face.
reminds us of the power of what we receive Lord the power of the gospel hallelujah this is what excited Lord God the disciples this is what excited the Apostle Paul this is what excited the Apostle John when he was in the Isle of Patmos he saw the resurrected Jesus Christ hallelujah in power and glory hallelujah oh Rabba Shakata Rabba yes Lord yes Lord there is a spirit of hope and faith oh God and confidence that is being released in our spirit because we know Jesus came Jesus died he rose again and he is coming back for us hallelujah come on church let's give God a big big hand of praise for that hallelujah hallelujah we are victorious in Jesus Christ who hallelujah thank you Lord for the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah for all of for all of you right now who have heard this good news of salvation in and Jesus Christ, would you open your heart right now, hallelujah. Would you receive the gift of salvation that can only be found in Jesus Christ. Would you pray this prayer with me with faith, hallelujah, in your heart, hallelujah. Come, come on, hallelujah. God is wooing you right now, hallelujah. It's time to return to the Lord, hallelujah. Would you pray this prayer with me right now. Say, dear Lord Jesus, dear Lord Jesus. come on, say it with all your heart. Say, dear Lord Jesus, dear Lord Jesus. today... today. I come, to you. I come to you. I realize I, realize I, am, a I am a sinner. I need a Savior. Need a savior. Jesus, Jesus, be my Savior, be my today. savior today. I repent, I repent of, all sins. of all my sins. Forgive me. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Change, me. Change me. And set me free, set today. Me free today. I receive, I receive the, gift the gift of eternal, of life. eternal life. 
I believe in my heart I in my and heart. I confess in my I mouth in my that mouth. you came, you, came. You, died you died for me, you died for my sins, for my you, sins. Rose from the dead you rose from the dead to give me life eternal, me life eternal. and you are coming back, are coming for, back me. for me. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Today, today I believe I, believe. I, am, forgiven. I am forgiven I am saved I am, saved. I am redeemed, I am, redeemed. I, am I am justified thank you Jesus from this day forward I will follow you I will love you and I will serve you in your name I pray and all God's people say amen and amen and amen. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise for that church? Come on, church. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you just pray that prayer, you know, with all your heart and with faith in your heart. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as many as receive him to them gave me the power and the privilege to become a child of God. You have just become a child of God today. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise for that church? Hallelujah. If anyone is in Christ, he is now a new person. The old life is gone and the new life life has begun. Welcome to your new life in Jesus Christ. From this day forward, this is now your spiritual family in Jesus Christ. And everybody said amen and amen and amen. Palapakan po natin si Lord Jan. Come on church. Hallelujah. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Are you filled with hope today? Hallelujah. Are you filled with faith today? Hallelujah. Are you filled with love for other people today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. What a powerful time of te teaching, hallelujah, about the foundation of our faith, about the power of the gospel. And everybody said amen to that, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, hallelujah. Church, are you revived today, hallelujah? Those who are victorious say, I am victorious, hallelujah. Are you excited, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah. Are you excited for the gospel, hallelujah, praise God. Lift your hands, I want to bless you with a prayer of the Lord. Bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord makes His face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord bless you with His shalom. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you with a confident heart. The Lord bless you with a victorious spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you with answered prayers. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you with open doors. The Lord bless your family. The Lord bless your life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all God's people say amen and amen. God bless you, church. Even so, come Lord Jesus.